guys, welcome back to the channel. As usual, I am your host, Selassie uh, Fiawe. Uh, today, we're going to talk about uh, South Africa and also the possible 25 that CK Corner will settle on for the World Cup qualifiers next week. I'm sure this week, by the end of the week, we will know uh, who CK Corner will be taking to the World Cup qualifiers. 25 players he has said he will call. He said five of the 30 he has called will be dropped. I'll be giving my estimate on who I think will be dropped. And also looking at the South Africa side, which has been named to face Ghana in the World Cup qualifiers on September 7th as well. Subscribe if you have not and click on the notification bell to get more updates. So we'll jump right into it and we'll start from the camp of the Bafana Bafana South Africa, uh, who will be facing Ghana in their World Cup qualifier. They will face Zimbabwe first on the 3rd of September before following it up with a meetup with Ghana in South Africa. These two teams are going to renew their rivalries after meeting in the AFCON qualifiers as well. And Ghana uh, will be hoping to make it to the World Cup after missing out on 2018. South Africa as well could not make it to the 2018 Russia World Cup and they will look after sacking their coach and hope that Hugo Bruce will help them do well in the World Cup qualifiers. Considering the fact that they were unable to qualify for the AFCON. And now the boss Hugo Bruce named a 23-man squad for the upcoming World Cup qualifiers. Now South Africa are set to face Ghana and Zimbabwe in the opening qualifiers of Qatar 2022 next month. After initially selecting a squad comprising of 31 players, it has been trimmed down to 23. It will mark the first time the 2017 African Cup of Nations winning coach will sit in the dugout for Bafana Bafana after the originally scheduled qualifiers in June were postponed due to COVID-19 restrictions. Bafana Bafana will face the Warriors of Zimbabwe on September 3rd, Friday at the National Sports Stadium in Zimbabwe before hosting the Black Stars at the FMB Stadium three days later on the 6th of September. The Belgian tactician missed out on the international friendly game against Uganda due to returning home to receive his second vaccination while he sat out the Kosafa Cup which South Africa triumphed in. So this is South Africa's 23-man squad trimmed down from the original 31. You can see here on your screen with the goalkeepers Ronwen Williams of Supersport United, Mothwa Veli of Amazulu, Bruce Mumba of Kaiser Chiefs, where the defenders Nico Mobi of Mamalodi Sundowns, Roshin De Rook of Mamalodi Sundowns, Thapelo Moreno of Mamalodi Sundowns. So most of these players are mostly based in the South African League. Thabeni Dube of Kaiser Chiefs, Sibosiso Mabiliso of Kaiser Chiefs. For the midfielders, Sifo Mwele of Supersports United, Temboho Mokwena of Supersports United as well, Mothebi Vala of Momalodi Sundowns, Injabulo Bloom of Kaiser Chiefs, Ethan Brooks of TS Galaxy, Yusuf Mart also in there of Sekukwani United. For the forwards, Tabisu Kutumela of Marmalady Sandals, Bongo Kule of Maritzburg United, Gift Links of Akros Denmark, Evidence Makoba of Barocco FC, Luther Singh of Copenhagen in Denmark, and Percy Tau of Brighton and Hove Albion in England. So these are the 23 players it has been trimmed down to for South Africa and they will be taking on Ghana on the 6th of September but before then they'll take on Zimbabwe on the 3rd of September and the initial squad that was brought out was 31. It has been trimmed down to 23 by coach Hugo Bruce. He has won the AFCON before with Cameroon. Unfortunately he will not be there at the AFCON because South Africa could not make it to the African Cup of Nations, unfortunately. They were in the same group with Ghana as Sudan went at their expense. So that is it there on the front of South Africa, who Ghana will be facing. On to the Ghana Black Stars, uh, who have named a 30-man squad. CK Akono named a 30-man squad, I think, two weeks ago. And this week, I'm expecting him to name his final 25. Now, initially, he said this team will be trimmed down 
to 25 from 30 and I'm going to give you my possible eliminations from this team as you can see here on your screen for the goalkeepers he named he named four goalkeepers who I think one of them uh, will be left out in the final squad and I think uh, Manaf Nuruddin of Cas Upen yes he has been promising he has been one of those that have been the shining light in recent times in terms of upcoming goalkeepers but I think uh, the other three have experience in first of all Ghana football and also in the Black Stars, uh, Richard Oforia are number one, uh, Lawrence Atizigi and Richard Atta. I'm expecting to make the final cut uh, for Coach CK Akono. Uh, for the white fullbacks, um, I'm going Ben Sinanan, Andy Yadom, uh, Babaraman, Gideon Mensa. Uh, the four I am looking at going through to the final list. And uh, Philemon Bafo will miss out on this one in my opinion i think ck akono would not joke with experience in this team barbara man despite not uh, securing a place in the chelsea squad should however be here with Ch with ghana black stars in the world cup qualifier game on september 3rd alexander jiku of fc strausberg uh, daniel amati of leicester city ismail ganiu of asante kotoko and jonathan mensa of Columbus crew I'm expecting all four of the center backs uh, to be in the final squad that Siki Akono won uh, for the midfielders Mubra Kwakasu Idrisu Baba and I think Thomas Tepati who is not yet back from injury will miss this game today I read a story that Mohamed Salah will not be released by his club Liverpool uh, because of COVID restrictions for the World Cup qualifiers and I think this should be something we should be expecting from the English clubs going forward. I think the African Cup of Nations is under threat to miss out an amazing flurry of African talent in Europe. I don't think some clubs will allow their countries, their, their players to leave and play for their countries and this is one of the issues uh, which I'm looking at for the African Cup of Nations. So if I were any of the coaches, start preparing with the locally based players because it will not be easy to get them to play in January. Uh, Thomas Tepati, I think he will not make it. Sika Kono almost confirmed that the last time in the Zoom conference. Emmanuel Lomete, I think he'll make the cut in midfield. For the wingers, uh, Joel Famea, uh, Samuel Usu, Emmanuel Jesse, Kamal Din Suleimana, uh, Abdul Fatah Isahaku, and I think Tariq Fusu will not make the cut. Tariq Fosu has not played for his club side Brentford uh, since they started in the English Premier League and I don't know when he will play for them but I don't think he will make the final cut for the Ghana in this one here. Tariq Fosu so far, Thomas Partey and Manaf Nuruddin, uh, the three absentees in my opinion along uh, with Philemon Bafo. Uh, for the attacking midfielders I think Free Ebanye, uh, Majid Ashimeru, Kudus Mohamed, a uh, lab date has been forthcoming from his coach. And I'll read that out to you right now to let you know how it is possible that he would not make it. He says, I can't say he will join next week, uh, but I do not think it will take long either. But I have been saying that for two weeks, it's difficult to give a prognosis, Eric Tang Hag said after they drew 1 1 uh, with FC 20. He's counting on the return of the stars players including Olympic gold medalist Anthony who was part of the Brazilian team in Tokyo. These are very useful weeks for us. It is a kind of preparation, the IRS coach said. We are now really getting the team together. Anthony is back. Now we can really start training. So he has said Kudus will be back but he has said that two weeks now and they still not back. It doesn't look like Kudus Mohamed will make at least the first game for Ghana in that World Cup qualifier. And it's quite unfortunate that he will not be joining the players. Um, for the strikers, I think all four will be there. Andre Ayu, Jordan Ayu, Kwame Puku, and Kelvin Yeboa, who scored his fourth goal of the season over the weekend. So those are the five players I think will miss out on the final 25. And Manaf Nuruddin, Thomas Partey. Uh, Bafo Philemon, Tariq Fosu, and Kudus Mohamed. Quite a controversial five, I think, will most of them due to injuries, others due to lack of experience, 
I think three are due to injury and uh, the others maybe lack of experience. But with time, I'm sure they will get their chance. Let me know who you think will miss out in the final 25. What do you think about South Africa's squad for the World Cup qualifiers versus Ghana? I'll see you guys in the next one. Enjoy the rest of the week.